Welcome to another one of my math riddles. My name is Chris Sieber, and I'm the creator of all the videos here at Math Meeting. And I want to help you guys out as much as possible by creating as many math tutorials as possible in calculus, algebra, and even fun riddles like this one. So here in this riddle, we have a square, and we need to find out what fraction of the square is shaded. All right, so in the square, we have, we have two lines, and we have one line that's separating this side into two equal parts. And we have another line that's creating a diagonal uh, with the square as well. And so the problem is what fraction of this square is shaded in green? So take your time, work on this problem, and I will show you the solution in five seconds. So it didn't take too much time to find the solution to this problem, and I thought the best solution was found by creating similar triangles. And you notice that these two triangles right here are similar, and I'll show you why. Um, well, these two angles are vertical, so we know that they're equal. Uh, we know that this angle in the bottom right-hand corner is an alt alternate angle uh, with, with this angle and this triangle, so they're equal. And we know that these, this angle in the bottom left-hand co corner is equal with this angle in the top right-hand corner of this triangle because they're also alternate triangles. So since all three angles of these two triangles are, are equal, we know that these uh, triangles are similar. And the one thing that we know about similar triangles is that the corresponding sides are in proportion. And since we know that the corresponding sides are in proportion, we can find out a lot of useful information about these triangles. So let's start with the bottom sides of these two triangles. So with this side, right here of this triangle and this side um, of here of this triangle. We know that they're corresponding because they're both the bottom sides of the triangle. And we know that this bottom side of this triangle is exactly double of this, of this bottom side of this top triangle. How do we know that? Well, that's because we know that the bottom side of this triangle is the entire length of or side of the square. And we know that the bottom side of this triangle is half of the side of the square. Okay, so we know that this bottom triangle in green um, is double, the length of the bottom side is double the length of the smaller triangle. And since all corresponding sides are in proportion, uh, we know that everything is going to be do double for all of the sides of the triangle and for all of the heights um, of the triangle. So let me show you how we can use that information to find out some the heights of the triangles. So let's start with the smaller triangle on top. And I'm going to draw a dashed line that's going to represent the height of this triangle. And we'll call the height of this triangle H. And I'm also going to draw the, draw the height of the shaded triangle, or the bigger triangle. And we know that this height of this green triangle is going to be double uh, the height of the smaller triangle because the corresponding sides are in proportion. And we know that they're double in the bigger triangle than they are in the smaller triangle. Um, so we'll call the height of this shaded triangle 2h. All right, so let's see what this information tells us. We know that the entire side of the square is equal to this length of h plus this length of 2h. All right, so we know that the side of the square is equal to h plus 2h, which is equal to 3h. And we also know that the area of the square the area of the square is equal to the side length squared. So if we multiply 3h by 3h, or 3h squared, that'll give us the area of the square. So 3h squared is equal to 9h squared. And we also know the area of the shaded triangle. Right? The area of any triangle is 1 half the base times the height. So the area of that shaded triangle is equal to 1 half the base. We know the base is equal to the, the length of the side of the square, so that's equal to 3h, times the height. And we know that the height is equal to 2h. All right, so let's plug in a 2h for the height. And 1 half times 3h times 2h is equal to 3h squared. All right, so now we have everything we need to know to find the fraction of the shaded area. The fraction of the shaded area is just a shaded triangle 
over the total area of the square, which is equal to 3h squared over 9h squared. If we cancel these h squareds out, we have 3 over 9. 3 over 9 is equal to 1 third. All right, so the diffraction of the shaded area of the triangle is equal to 1 third of the square. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you thought this was too easy, check out my next riddle. The link is in the screen and see if you can solve that one as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't, for, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one.